Um, a couple of people were asking about this printer, and I wanted to get a quick overview of how I built this and uh, some of the basic features of, of what makes this printer special. Um, just to start off here, I'm using a GoPro, so things may be a little shaky. But um, so basically, this is a Misumi frame. So the aluminum frame is from a company called Misumi. Uh, you can visit them misumiusa.com. Um, you can purchase the frame in any size you want, and they will basically give you all the cut pieces that you need, all the adapters, uh, all the the corner brackets, the screws, the nuts, everything you need to assemble it. So I, I purchased one of those, I upgraded the corner adapters, and, uh, and basically wanted to use that to create a cube-based printer. So what I did here is I used a, a Core XY mechanism um, on the printer. So the way that the, uh, the system works is that all the aluminum extrusion is all um, from Misumi, this, this clear anodized. The black anodized is all from um, Open Builds. So that is a Open Builds V-Rail. So this is the mini, uh, mini V-Rail blocks. These are the mini V wheels. They are the polycarbonate models. Um, and so I've got the extrusion mounted directly to that. And then these guys are mounted directly to the um, aluminum extrusion down here through with uh, through nuts or these screws here that go through to the uh, other side of the extrusion. Uh, so this is essentially a Core XY. I've got two motors. I've got a motor here and I've got a motor over here. And both of these guys are running the X and the Y in the system. So back here we have the crossover, typical of the Core XY machines. Now I'm running mine with two different levels as opposed to a single level. So the belts only cross um, diagonally here. They don't cross up and down. So there's a little less torque on the belt back here. Um, as far as the controllers, we've got a smoothie board, which I've converted over from a Megatronics board. So this is now a smoothie that's being operated by a Raspberry Pi. And just I have an ATX power supply hooked up to it right now. Uh, in the future, I plan on modifying this to use an actual 24 volt power supply. I'm only using 12 right now to run the motors. Uh, down here, you can see the more of the V rail. This is the uh, 20 by 80, I believe. I'll have to check that. I think it's 20 by 80. And then these are the um, these two motors here drive these up and down. They push the, the Z axis up and down. You can see the plates up under here where I've got the, these are more of the V rails. These are the full size rails. These are not the minis. These are on these plates here sandwiched. So those handle the Z axis movement. Um, the bed is a uh, 24 by 24 inch piece of Mike 6 aluminum. So you can see from the bottom we've got a heating pad on there. It's a 720 watt silicone 110 volt heater with my thermistor attached there. Um, it was originally on the side but I was having some issues with wiring so I moved it there. Um, now over here we have the, this is the 110 volt lines in. We've got a couple more 110 volt lines just in case I want to add a second heater, which I might do down the road. Um, here is the solid state relay controlling the, um, the heat to the bed. So this is controlling up the power to the bed via these control lines. Um, the Raspberry Pi itself is hooked up to this little monitor here, which is on a stand. So this is running Octoprint with uh, the Touch UI. And over here up on the head, you can see, kind of poorly installed, is um, I've got a um, E3D uh, Chimera on there, and that's only hooked up with a single nozzle at the moment. But that also has a BL touch, which is kind of just stuck on there, so that is getting mounted. Um, the BL touch uh, is just kind of stuck to the side of that with just some tape. So. Um, I have a fan here that this actually cools the print and this is run via this hose all the way up to this guy which is a large uh, delta blower which I created a custom mount that mounts the blower to the this plastic converter that then converts it down. This is a CPAP hose from uh, Amazon so this is a pretty cheap hose, a couple dollars uh, and that 
helps uh, remove some of the weight from the head. Uh, and then over here, I've got another kind of an odd arm coming out. So that arm that that blower and everything is attached to, its, its main purpose is just to keep the extruder up in the air and lessen the length of the Bowden tube that I have so that uh, there's not as much retraction. I don't have as much issue with stringing um, as I would with a really large Bowden tube. Uh, an E3D Titan. I have a second one of these. It's going to get mounted to the other side for the dual extrusion for the Chimera. Uh, and then my box of filament. I just have a couple uh, silica gel dryers in there. But um, for, for now, this is working pretty well. I'm actually printing out another version of this cooler to cool both sides at once instead of just one. Um, so that should be interesting if that actually works. <laughs> I need to move this I need to extend this bracket out and move it to the center so that I can get a little bit better um, positioning for that fan head. Uh, but otherwise, it's all pretty simple as you can see. There's not a whole lot to it. A lot of empty space inside for the print. Uh, this Igus chain is extremely inexpensive. I think it's like three or four dollars on Amazon. Um, so that's why I used a bunch of it on here. Same with the CPAP hose. It was three or four dollars for a hose. So that was an inexpensive way to move air around. Uh, and you can see the limit switches. We've got the Z limit. That's at max. And the two rests. Uh, the, the motors, the, the lead screws, are actually uh, four start. And so this bed weighs about 20 pounds. And it will actually uh, fall down when the motors are de-energized. So... It rests on those stops on the bottom down there, right here and over here. So those two stops help to keep it uh, from putting pressure against that switch. Uh, otherwise, the other two stops here and here just held on with them some quick, um, simple little mounts. Uh, that's the X and the Y. Um, the rest of it is really just pretty simple. The bed is held up with um, some furniture movers, as you can see. Those kind of help level it out since it's so it weighs so much, it does tend to bow a little. So the center helps support it. Still, it's not totally level, but uh, with med, mesh bed leveling, it seems to work pretty well. So, uh, any future plans? Uh, I'm going to be um, separating out the bed heater from the rest of the system so that I can run the system off of my uh, UPS here so that hopefully that will give me a little more runtime in case something happens. The bed has enough thermal mass that it will keep running for probably about five to ten minutes at current temperature without needing a lot of uh, heat added so I should be able to run this thing for a little bit if the power goes out. Uh, other than that adding the second extruder um, converting this to the Volcano, which I have the parts to do so I can do larger, faster prints. Um, and that's about it. Uh, hopefully this will start to crank out some pretty big stuff, which I'll get on video and I will post online as well. So, thanks for watching. Catch you later.